This is my live reaction for uh, Honkai Star Rail version 1.4 Jolted Awake from a Winter Dream special program brought to you by the Hoyoverse and also by Timothy Reddy right here. All right, so don't forget to subscribe and like and all that good stuff. Come on, because we need to grow our our community on our YouTube. I'm actually like trying. We're, can we get the 2K? Can we get the 2K? But without further ado, let's go. Uh, please, uh, please, please uh, click the like button first. Yeah. And then watch until the end. All right, let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. Embrace. Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> Don't get too close. Hello? More seven. Don't get too close. <laughs> this is your room. She's inviting us to her room. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? 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 Uh, uh, we're live already? <laughs> yes, we are live already, uh, hey, Mark Seven. Welcome Hello. Welcome to the program, and thank you to our sponsor, the Interastral Peace Corporation. I'm your host, Astral Express crew member, March Seventh. March Seventh. I've been watching my favorite streamer in preparation, but this is still my first time hosting. So are you watching? Easy on me if I you have that, been. Okay? Wait, have you you have been Mars Ivan, you have been watching your favorite streamer, right? Have you watched Timothy Randy? On Twitch.tv for us Timothy Randy or YouTube.com for us Timothy Randy? Have you watched it, Mars Ivan? If not, if not, then it's okay. Because you're cute. Uh what was I supposed to say again? Uh, oh. I, I think it was uh, don't forget to like, uh, follow, and share, or I'll chicken out. You heard that. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard that. Don't forget to like. Yeah, we pause. You can pause this one right now. Like and subscribe and put a comment section below, right? Let's keep going. And then, and then. Oh, without further ado, let's get right into the trailer. Okay. I'm not ready for this. I am not ready. Ooh. Trailblazer. Hey, 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 attention. Hey, hey. The International Tournament Festival Championship is about to commence. Oh, Luca. Silver Wolf. Wait, what is this? Who is this? Join me in the dance. Let's bring this celebration to its climax. Shoo! Dang! Bellabog might be in arrears, but I'm out of pocket. Wait, who's that? Who is this? Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, the gold. Bronya, depart. She'd be like, ENOUGH! I returned to the Law Fu so I could surrender myself to the Alliance and atone for my sins. This will be the last you see of me. Oh, It reminds me of Ganyu from Genshin Impact. Or the Downhang statue, Jin Yen. Okay, Shen He, Shen He vibes. Blade of Moonlight. Oh, the I. High cloud queen. She is so pretty. It is time Wait, Blade. Say goodbye. Wait, Blade. Jolted away from. Okay, this is a redemption code. But, uh. By the time this video is up, it's already, it's already, um, it is already expired, by the way. Um, if you want the redemption code, it's right here, um, yeah, by the time, no, by the time this video is up, it's probably, it's probably still, yeah, so you can, you can get it so fast, yeah, you can get it fast, yeah. You can get it fast, I, I'll put it in the description below. 
Yep. All right, let's skip this one. There's loads of fun stuff waiting for us out there. Can't wait to catch it all on camera. Like Jing Liu. Never thought we'd Jing see Liu. a living Xianzhu legend. She's super interesting. Miss Jing Liu might look young and elegant, but people say she's experienced and super dangerous. I was a little nervous when the director told me I'd be introducing her today. <laughs> Jing Liu. So I thought, why don't I see if I can bring in another young, elegant, experienced, and dangerous lady to help? Of me course, with the intro. of course, <clears throat> yes. Next up, let's put our hands together and welcome Miss Hineko, navigator of the Astral Express. Eleganto, eleganto, <laughs> wow, Hineko. March. Is that how you see me? I'm very flattered. Uh huh. He's giving me mommy vibes. That's right. I walked in just as someone happened to be calling me a young, elegant, experienced, and young, elegant. Uh, mm. <laughs> You're all those things. So uh, you want to take it from here, Himeko? Sure thing. Where were Himeko? Could you give us ara ara, please? Are we. Hi everyone. As March said, I'm Himeko, navigator mm -hmm. of the Astral Express. Today mm -hmm. I'll be introducing you to a living Xianzhou legend, Jing Liu. Jing Liu, okay, Jing Liu. Oh, oh, the Ganyu. That thing, Jing Liu, with sword. Wow. Oh, the moon. Boom boom boom. Ever since I first Is that the burst? Her in Yenqing's tracking entries. Oh, she's I was completely ice? hooked. Five she's stars, Jing ice. Yen's previous master. I bet she's Jing Yen's previous master. Stories to tell. As Destruction and ice. Quintet, she was once the strongest swordmaster on the Lafu. However, due to the effects of Mara, she sometimes loses her grip on reality, perceiving herself as an unstoppable sword. Uh, <laughs> Jing Liu's so ruthless. She even attacked her apprentice's apprentice. Ooh. And she figured out Yan Xing's fighting style just from the sound of his swords. I'd bolt if I saw her coming my way. I can't say I blame you. After the Mara took hold of Jing Liu, she became a different person. As for the day she mm. crossed paths with Yan Xing. So this is the lore of Jing Liu. Jing Liu. I guess so. In any case, Jing Liu is unpredictable at the best of times. But if you catch her on a good day, she's as calm as moonlight on a silent night. <laughs> Nicely put. I love her. her. I love her design. She reminds me of like to the moon's faces. Okay, you guys. She is... kind of she kind of reminds me of like if you if you put like Ganyu, Ganyu, Shen He, with the design of Sea uh, with the uh, the design of um. Zila, Zila, yeah. Ganyu, Shenha, and Zila, you combine together, that's gonna be her with the sword. Yeah. And I love blindfolded. <laughs> that's like, she's literally blindfolded. An okay. Ice type character following the path of destruction who uses two different states in combat. Different states? Okay. What's that? Mm, think of it this way when Jing Yu is in prolonged combat. Her Mara struck persona takes over and she changes states. When Jing Liu uses oh. her skill, Transcendent Flash, she accumulates stacks of syzygy. Whoa. Oh, she gains stacks? Okay. Isn't Transcendent Flash the legendary sword move from Mr. Cien's story? The, the one that cuts through time itself? You sure seem well versed in High Cloud Quintet mm -hmm. stories, March. <laughs> When Syzygy stacks up to a set amount, Jing Liu is consumed by Mara and enters a spectral transmigration state. In the spectral transmigration state, Jing Liu's every attack deducts a set percentage of HP from her ally's max HP. However, her oh. attack increases according to the corresponding total HP consumed. Ah, uh, see? I told you oh. she attacks her allies! While in the spectral transmigration state, Jing Liu's skill, Transcendent Flash, becomes Moon on Glacial River, and she that is, is a unable new. to launch basic attacks. Moon on Glacial River doesn't consume skill points, but does consume stacks of syzygy. When stacks oh, reach zero, okay. Jing Liu exits the spectral transmigration state. 
Jing Liu's ultimate, Floor Ephemeral Dream Flux, deals Ooh. a set percentage of her attack as ice damage to a single oh my target God. and adjacent enemies, as well as granting her additional stacks of Syzygy. Whether it's normal state ice beauty, Jing Liu, I love her. Or red -eyed spectral transmigrator state, Jing I love Liu, her. Are you gonna be bullied for her? Master. According to Cienjo, oh, she's she that's a technique. Ten lords before the onset of Mara and subsequently Ooh, the detained technique. in the shackling prison. The famous conference, freezing with everybody, her apprentice Jing Yuan would come later. <sighs> Becoming Mara struck is an unavoidable fate for Cienjo long life species. But they're still trying to find a way to break free of the cycle. In the brand new 1.4 mission, Cloud is that you No Trace, an anonymous letter silently appears on the express. It seems an unexpected visitor has extended an invitation wow. and is looking to connect with Don Hung to delve deeper into the tale of the Cienjo. Past events may feel distant mm -hmm. in the present. Cloud Sleeve No it's Trace. Only right to give this story its proper conclusion. Valiant figures from times of old reunite with familiar faces and find so, themselves okay. in a world drastically reshaped okay. from the one they once knew. I okay, heard... ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what is the lore behind behind Jing Liu. Jing Liu, behind Jing Liu. Is she allegedly she was um Blade? Blade was tortured. Blade was tortured. Um uh, after Blade got uh, immortal, becoming immortal, then Jing uh, Jin Liu um, uses Blade to uh, to kind of like as a kind of like as a tool or like the you know to smack him all the time to just to become even more powerful kind of thing because Jing Liu is allegedly um, Blade's best friend or now master or whatnot. Some kind of that is that true? I don't know. You guys tell me in the comment section but below. The reason Jing Liu wears a blindfold is to avoid catching sight of certain objects on the Sienjo, things that would trigger her memory and the Mara inside her. Well, not seeing isn't the same as not remembering. She's never forgotten those who fought alongside her. As for solving the Mara predicament, we'll just have to stay tuned for the upcoming Sienjo story. Ah. Oh. Looks like Jing Liu's next move is gonna be trending all over the Sienjo. Oh, hey, Himeko, what if I start doing my own live streams? They could track Jing Liu's every step. I oh, yes, March 7. VTuber debut. Let's like go. Chasing trends. Your content will probably end up clashing with the IPCs. <laughs> uh, really? But my favorite streamers are always saying you gotta go with the hype. Uh, anyway, uh, how do you think I'm doing so far, Himeko? Uh, for this episode, I did loads and loads of research. Plus, I got lots of tips from my favorite streamer. Hmm. And which streamer would this be? Timothy Randy. She's a streamer called Gwynaithan. Her streams are super entertaining. Not Timothy Randy. Come on, Mar7. I can't say I've heard of her. Yes. You have it? Same with the Brandy. How Wait. About, I what? Know, I'll tell you all about her. What? There's a character. That's it. That is a streamer in Hong Kai Star Rail. What? No way. Ooh. Okay, look at those. Says giving me this uh, Chinese vibes. Oh wow! Sleep, and I ended up watching Gwynaithan's Kwai Band. Fire Nihility. I've never Four heard stars. anything like it. I subscribed straight away. It was meant to be. Her attire is very Cien Joe, but it feels like she's not from the La Fu. <laughs> she's not from any of the Cien Joe ships. I think her real name was Guinevere or something. Guinevere. Anyway, Gwe means fine wood. Nai means to exist, and Fen means fragrant. Su Shang came up with it for her. She's her bestie. What oh. lovely imagery. <laughs> I know. Gwen is like Su Shang's bestie. Okay. Guinevere and Gwen Guinevere. And do sound kind of similar if you say them a few times, right? Guinevere, Guinevere, oh, Guinevere. Call her three times and you can pull for her. I heard the Cienjo issues fines for that. Uh huh? Seriously? Sienjo culture is vast and profound. I love There's her. There's still much to learn. 
Gwen Ifen says that Su Shang is always schooling her on local culture and customs. Su Shang is as Sienjo as it gets. I feel like everything I learned about the Sienjo I learned from them. <laughs> Live streaming, Kwaiban. A passion for Sienjo culture. Mm -hmm. Gwen Ifen seems like a girl mm -hmm. of many talents. A girl of many is. talents, yes. Although I feel like she mainly uses them to impress her bestie. <laughs> Did you know that Queen Ifen is actually so it's like a street performer? See some follow up attack. Also super talented on the battlefield. Queen Ifen is a fire type character following the path of Nihility. When using her skill Blazing Welcome, Queen Ifen launches firecrackers, dealing fire damage to her oh, target and vibes? adjacent enemies with a chance of inflicting burn. After unlocking oh, the OD, okay. Pulls, her basic attack damage over time also has a chance of inflicting enemies with burn. Hmm, I'm curious. Why firecrackers exactly? Gwen Ifen says that in Sienjo Legends, artists use firecrackers to fend mm -hmm. off scary beasts. In return, the nobility supported the artist financially. Gwen Ifen is just continuing the tradition, and friendly locals are only too happy to support her. Funnily enough, her talent is called Patreon Benefits. When Gwen Ifen is on the battlefield and an enemy sustains burn damage, there's a chance they'll enter a fire kiss state. Fire kiss is stackable and limited to a set number of turns. Oh, While stackable. In the fire kiss state, enemies sustain increased damage. Which reminds me, I think Gwen Ifen live streamed a battle once too. Her ultimate, watch this show. Her ultimate. Oh, whoa. Summons and detonates an even bigger firecracker in the form of a D ting. Dealing fire damage to all enemies. Targets already inflicted with burns sustain additional damage as a set percentage of the fire damage. Is this what the kids call going viral? I love to see her call going viral. <laughs> I bet it was an instant. Hit. Oh, that's really so. <laughs> About that. Her stream was taken down halfway through. Creative. The team is so the creative. Platform's fire safety policy. <laughs> oh. What do you think? Got a better picture of Gwen Ifen now? Hmm. And I can see why you're so fond of her. <laughs> cool, isn't she? I'll message you the link to her streams right now. Sometimes she even sends gifts to her fans. Hey, Gwailings, check this out. Scale what is it? Spring water, clear and tasteless, rich in calories. One sip. Ah, you just saved yourself. A One meal. sip and you'll be mine. Actually, I bought some five liters Cheers. of Snow Gorge spring water during Gwen Ifen's last. Stream. When you're watching her stream, you gotta be ready to grab the deals. They're awesome. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute, March. If that's the case, those bottles of Scale Gorge spring water in the Express's storage room. You bought all of those? Yeah. What about them? Oh, whoops. Interesting. Just the other day, Welt was telling me about his new healthy lifestyle habits. Apart from exercise, he's been drinking eight glasses of water a day. Strangely enough, he's gained a little weight. Guess it must have been... Uh, so Mr. Yang was drinking the... <laughs> it's getting late, he may come. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We should get back uh -oh. to the show. The next person <laughs> we'll be talking about is Topaz. Topaz? <sighs> sure. Wait, who's Topaz? So... Who's Topaz? <laughs> Actually, I don't know either. But huh? the director said that Topaz works for the IPC. She even knows that presenter, Albert. Speaking of, let's get him on the line. He can introduce Topaz. Albert? Albert? Uh -oh. Where? Ah! Where? Uh oh! Hey, oh! Whether or not your world has a day night cycle. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm your good buddy Alp. Uh, why did our art style change? <laughs> On my show, we go by my style. Up next, allow me, Albert, a professional inter-astral peace corporation anchor. I love the voice. My guest I love his voice. Holly. Topaz! Okay. Okay, with the golden throttler. Yes, golden throttler. Yes. 
Oh wow! Is this the elemental burst? Topaz is a rising star in the Topaz, strategic investment department. Num Numbi. Heading up the special Fire the hunt. She's a combination of youth, elegance, and remarkable ability. The special debts pick a team. I think I've heard. Oh, of them. interesting. The English well, voice actor is know, Sam. Among the universe's major investors and lenders, the IPC is a big fish. And with so many venture capital projects, there are bound to be bumps in the road. Very elegant, though. Oh my God, I want her. Person to smooth out the bumps and make sure we recover. I don't know. Do I want oh, Topaz or do I want uh, Ching Liu? Oh man. When dealing with defaulters, Topaz's methods are swift and effective, saving the IPC from many a potential loss. She also has a great knack for investments, turning even the bleakest projects into success stories and ensuring huge returns for the corporation. Wow, impressive. Does she have some kind of superpower? <laughs> superpower? <laughs> Within the walls of the IPC, there is indeed a rumor that Topaz's stellar success might have something of the supernatural about it. Oh? Supernatural? Who oh, reminds me of Gwen Ethan's ghost hunting streams? Ghost hunting? <laughs> Let's not jump the gun. When people think of Topaz, they don't think about ghosts, but a certain unmistakable companion. I'm Brother talking about her warp trotter, Numbi. They may look like a cute mascot, but Numbi is Topaz's trusted sidekick. Ah, oh, Numbi. So its name is Numbi. Numbi Eleganto. Sense for sniffing out wealth, security checks, debt settlements, and calculations are all child's play for this little piggy. <laughs> Together with Topaz, they traverse the cosmos, resolving any and all debt disputes that could threaten the IPC's operations. Numbi mm -hmm. is a legit employee. They even have an official role and title. R oh. Really? Really. And don't forget, the corporate world mirrors the battlefield in more ways than one. Topaz's prowess in the former is just as swift and formidable in the latter. And you better believe Numbi plays a huge part in that. Topaz and Numbi are fire type characters following the path of the hunt. At the start of an allied turn, if no enemy on the battlefield is inflicted with proof of death, Topaz will Ooh. inflict this state on a random enemy, thereby we'll boosting see? the follow-up attack damage they receive. During battle, Numbi starts out with an initial speed and acts autonomously, attacking enemies inflicted with proof oh, of death. Oh wow! Excluding Numbi's own turns, yes. Every time an ally follow-up attack wonder. an enemy inflicted with proof of death, Numbi's action is advanced forward. This fire seems like Numbi and Topaz share a strong bond. Mm, they make a tight you. Topaz. Speaking of which. Topaz's skill, difficulty paying, is able to reallocate proof of debt to a different target, allowing Numbi to immediately launch an assault and deal okay. a set percentage of Topaz's attack as fire damage to the new target. This counts as a follow-up attack. Topaz's oh, follow -up ultimate attack. turn a profit okay. allows Numbi to enter the Windfall Bonanza state. In Ooh. this state, damage and crit damage dealt by Numbi oh, both Numbi. experience an increase. If that wasn't enough, Every time an ally's basic attack, skill, or ultimate hits an enemy inflicted with proof of death, Numbi's action is additionally advanced forward. After Numbi launches a set number of attacks, this effect is dispelled. Oh, oh Numbi's got moves! Some believe that everything possesses a soul. I believe that if you treat all living things with genuine care, regardless of whether they're human, They'll respond and come. Oh, they're following you. They're following. Uh, yes, folks. Numbi's not done yet. Topaz and Numbi's technique, explicit subsidy, allows Topaz to summon Numbi when entering a map. Numbi then automatically seeks out basic treasures and trotters within a certain range, leading Topaz Wait, what? right to the loot. The best part. Oh, that's very useful. Their approach, and this effect doesn't even consume technique points. If Topaz and Numbi enter combat after using their technique. Our little warp trotter regenerates a doesn't set even of consume the energy after launching their first attack. If Topaz and Numbi are still in the team after winning a battle entered in this way, the team receives a small amount of additional credits up to a set daily limit. The above also goes for winning battles entered in this way within the simulated universe. But instead of credits, oh. the team receives a small amount of cosmic fragments with a chance to bag a random curio. <laughs> That's quite the skill set. Seems like Topaz and wow. Numbi have a bad cop, 
bad cop approach. That is very um, elegant, though. Oh, that and no deep. That is very elegant, though. Well call Numbie Follow the up. Omnipotent cosmic piggy bank. <laughs> Careful now. <laughs> if there's an eon of prosperity out there, I doubt they want competition. Troop it's old. Topaz doesn't care much about Numbie's wealth generating abilities. Here at the IPC, she has a reputation for being clean as a whistle. Money just isn't that important to her. Money is a means, not an end. Work should make you happy. <laughs> Topaz looks after Numby because she loves them. Simple as that. Yes, we love. That's not all I heard. We love it as well. Pressure 1.4, stagnant shadow, shape of scorch. Oh, Go there's a new that. one. Beat it, and you can snag the ascension material required ascension for materials. Topaz and Gwenaiflin. Oh, for those, for both. Okay. Albert, are you sure Topaz is just your colleague? It feels like she's got a mm. way bigger role than you. Mm. What? <laughs> Clearly, you've never worked in a top-tier company. In esteemed enterprises like ours, we stress a horizontal approach to management. As long as one has their own methodology, finds their own niche, and employs their own strategy, they can exert unlimited influence and change the fate of a project. Himeko, is he making any sense to you? I'm not quite following. Ah! <laughs> Look, I might not get the ins and outs of investing, but I know my way around the presentation deck. <laughs> Those dazzling slides on Topaz, you yep, my creation. <laughs> Impressive. Hmm? <laughs> it's all Impressive. about making yourself indispensable in the workplace. Wait, who's coming? And if Topaz were here right who's now, coming there? she'd acknowledge my Topaz there. Ah, oh, and the numbie. How's it hanging, Owly? Hi, viewers. Hi. <laughs> Topaz. <laughs> That's my name. Don't wear it out. You guys probably mentioned already, but I work in the strategic investment department at the IPC headquarters. It's an honor to be here for Miss March 7th show today and to meet Miss Himiko. <laughs> Hi, Topaz. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, the director Topaz, <laughs> what brings you here? A while ago, we received an investment application from the Interastral Peace Media Department. It seems the IPM's presenters mm -hmm. want to expand the program's reach. As such, the corporation sent me to evaluate the program's performance. <laughs> Director Topaz, I I'll show you my expertise right now. <clears throat> uh, so Winter without ado. further ado, let's unveil version 1.4's eagerly awaited five-star characters. Okay. The first phase of 1.4 in the character Vent Warp, Gentle Eclipse of the Moon. Trailblazers can acquire the limited five star character Jing Liu. Jing Liu. And the second phase of 1.4. Jing Liu, first new phase? The character Vent Warps will become available. In the character Vent Warp, Sunset Claws, Trailblazers can obtain the limited Jing Liu, first phase? There's Topaz and Numbi. Meanwhile, in the character Vent Warp, Butterfly on Sword Tip. The limited five-star character Zila will be making a return, and I almost oh, forgot Zila, to rerun. The four-star character Gwenaipen will also be a part of these two second-phase character event wars. Look who's back! It's Zila. Zila like back. Okay. Last saw her in Characters aside, they're starting a rerun also now already. Anticipating version 1.4's five-star light codes and 1.4's first phase light code event warp. The drop rate of the five-star light cone, I shall be my own sword, will be boosted. It's that sword-wielding beauty again. <sighs> Standing there in the moonlight without her blindfold. Oh, wow. Amidst all those oh, flowers. Oh, wow. Quite the sight. Unforgettable. Meanwhile, in 1.4... It's destruction. Phase, light the light cone. cone. Warps, the drop rates for the five-star light cones, worrisome, blissful, and in the night, will be boosted. Wow, Topaz is so lucky to be surrounded by so many cute fluff balls. Can we get one for the express, Himeko? Oh, please. Oh, this is for Topaz and I'm afraid yeah. that might not be possible. I remember Paul on a bygone remis uh, reminiscence as a bag. That sheds fur a brilliant fixation. But Paul fixation. Paul sheds tons of fur. You know, trotters like Numbi make great companions. They're non shedding, low maintenance, and super squishy plus they can sniff out valuable treasures <laughs> or what about adopting a talking bird <laughs> like uh -oh. only here wait what uh absolutely <laughs> not I i'm the star of the ipm <laughs> 
And that wraps up today's Warp and Light Code segment. Um, Director Topaz, I was wondering, how did you rate my performance? 10 out of 10. <laughs> Let's talk about that later. The reason I'm here for March's show today is to present some small gifts to our esteemed viewers on behalf of the IPC. I'm not the best at crafting presentation decks, but here is a slide I worked up. Okay. Okay, what is this? Again, Lady German, um, the. Oh! <laughs> Feel the frost in the space fantasy adventure Honkai Star Rail. Absolutely amazing. Hey, hey. I love this music. Hey, hey, Guru. Space Fantasy Adventure, Honkai Star Rail. Uh, gee, thanks, Topaz. It's great you could take time out of your schedule to be on the show. You must be pretty busy. <laughs> well, the corporation is a big part of my life. In fact, me and my team are heading out to business on Urillo 6 very soon. Taking part in today's program was a nice change of pace for me. Oh, really? Urillo 6? We've been there. So, is this a debt collecting trip? <laughs> I'm afraid I can't comment on internal IPC matters. That said, I heard the Express crew will be heading to Urillo 6 for the Trailblaze Continuance Future Market. Looking Ooh. forward to seeing you all in Bellabog. Huh? How did you know about that? Preliminary research is crucial for the smooth progression of any project. Our data oh, new collection map? lead informed me about a significant site on Urillo 6 known as the Pillars of Creation. A memorial oh, expansion from Bellabog. of Bellabogian resistance. Out of respect, I intend to pay a visit there with a few colleagues. Colleagues? Oh, where are my manners? Uh, let me introduce them. Senior staff, team Ooh. leader, grunt, field New personnel, boss? and grunt, security personnel. Uh, they look pretty slick, but uh, I can't help but wonder... Are they enthusiastic about a trip to an ice planet? <sighs> I'm afraid enthusiasm doesn't come into it. The IPC's balance sheet isn't the best right now. Mm -hmm. We haven't got the capital to outsource missions like these. That explains the recent disturbance in the corporation. As if thousands of voices suddenly sighed in exhaustion and were suddenly silenced. Uh, <clears throat> let's set that aside for now. That sounds you know, kind of like blame. I've heard all about the achievements of the Astral Express. I also heard that the train's navigator was a lady of unparalleled beauty and talent. It was a pleasure to meet you at last, Miss Himiko. <laughs> Another reason for coming on the show today? I hope I lived up to mm -hmm. your expectations. You exceeded them. Next time, let's see if we can meet up in person. I'm sure we can make that happen. Once your work in Bellabog is done, perhaps you'd like to drop by the Express. <laughs> it's a deal. I've always wanted to set eyes on the Express. Jeez. We get a room for these guys already? Get a room? What does that mean? As another gesture of the corporation's goodwill, I'd like to introduce a brand new event for everyone to take part in. Oh, woohoo! Nice! Ooh. Recognized universally as the leading video game brand, oh. Ethereum Wars is set to unveil an offline event on Urillo 6. The Interastral Tournament Festival. Ethereum Wars? What's that? Think of it as a what is that? holographic video game. To secure a spot in the grand final, contestants must collect and nurture Ether Spirits, which can be found within Victory Zones. Ether Spirits? I'd venture to guess they're much like Numbi here. Digital replicas of creatures designed to serve as combat companions. Right you are, Miss Himiko. You're not. Oh, wait, we can play as sponsors? I've heard a thing or two about the IPC's research and cultivation programs. Oh, that's interesting. Am I right in assuming that the aim of this event is to analyze the suitability of different species as fighting companions? Correct. 
and we stand by our promise that no real-life creatures will be harmed during Ethereum Wars. The IPC has renovated an old weapons testing ground to serve as a tournament venue. We've also set up victory zones in different locations. Heard a space station, Urillo 6, and the Xianzhou Lafu. Those who managed to oh, defeat there are the more. championship contenders in each victory zone and yes, complete the combat challenges will be greeted with generous rewards. It's Ooh. also worth noting that Ether Spirits, both allied and enemy alike, are kind of like the CG, the but then it's actually fighting. Mechanical, actual fighting. Humanoid and aberrant. In combat, these types have a cyclical relationship with each one countering another. Attacking enemies that are vulnerable to your current Ether Spirits type will allow you to deal extra damage. Oh, so picking a type that counters your opponents is super important. You got it. Furthermore, as you advance through the competition, you'll gain access to the even more formidable Overlord Ether Spirits. Oh, you can level can be up. Developed to boost their combat prowess. <laughs> so the deeper you delve into the competition, the this is quite fun. The fights become. This is going to be quite the contest. Hmm. Uh, you, uh, you okay there, March 7th? I hope it's Ether not too, big, too complicated. Copy. Let's see. Whoa, a gold owl Wait, what happened to him? That's what happened to him? March, do I look like some paddle pet to you? You can't just collect anything and everything. <laughs> it's just curious. <laughs> a reminder to our esteemed contestants. Numerous players from across the universe will be partaking in Ethereum Wars. Oh, wow. As you progress, new opponents will be revealed. After completing all challenges, exhibition new boss? matches await where you might end up face to face with some unexpected opponents. And should you rise to the occasion and overcome the Servo. tournament festival challenges, you'll receive IPC sponsored eligibility for a specially selected four star character. Oh, we can and get a four, one four star character. Full rundown on Ethereum Wars. Hope you all have fun. Like the whole four. to treat your combat companions kindly. <laughs> uh, uh, I've got a meeting to get to. Bye for now. Huh? You're leaving so soon? Mm-hmm. But I'm sure our paths will cross again. Over to you and Albert. Keep up the good work. There will be a year-end bonus for everyone when we roll out the new project. <laughs> Thank you, Director. Your wisdom, oh, foresight, and mentorship no no bounds. So cute. Take care now. Stay safe out there. I should be going, too. There's some maintenance on the Express to attend to. Hope to catch you all soon. Uh, thanks for all the help, Himeko. Thanks. See you soon. See you soon. Are they gone? Gone? Topaz and Himeko. I Psst, think don't tell so. anyone. You sure? Uh, yes. Take a look for yourself. See? Told you. All gone. Nobody here but me. Nobody else on the line. Phew. That's a relief. <laughs> All those That's kind of sus a little bit. If you ask me, Topaz is just abusing her position to engage in a personal pastime. Huh? Topaz's personal pastime? What's that? <laughs> Isn't it obvious to you? Maybe you should mm. take another look at the specifics of this event. Hmm, let me think. Uh, I got it! So Topaz's personal pastime is hunting. Duh? Hunting? hunting? Miss March, what gave you that impression? I, uh, well, isn't that right, though? Uh, I'll show <laughs> you. This event is all about sneaking up slowly and then... Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa. slow down a second. That's like Hoots Owl. This is pastime as cuddling creatures, not hunting them. As soon as she gets home, she grabs her pets and cuddles the heck out of them. She's got hundreds at her company apartment. Huh? Did you say hundreds? How does she have the space? <clears throat> well, her company apartment is an ecological starship. Uh. Meanwhile, my feathery butt's in his studio from the 2020s. Uh. Topaz uh -oh. lives it up in a giant starship over at corporate HQ. Well, I get my unpack lunches in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I get there, Hopper. <clears throat> Let's shift our attention to some of the other thrilling events coming our way. Oh, there are more events. First nice. Off, during the 1.4 release, the Planar Infinity event is making its debut. 
Herda and three other members of the Genius Society made some small renovations to the simulated universe. But each Ooh. of them threw a spanner in the works. With the code damage, the universe is beginning to expand exponentially. New simulated Madame universe? Wanted me to pass a message on to our trailblazers. <laughs> Don't panic. Just a minor bug. You will be compensated. Minor bug? Really? Well, kind of. Doesn't sound like it. It's true. The spanners in question cause the simulated universe's blessings and curios to multiply. <laughs> multiply? As such, in Planar Infinity's ordinary plane challenges, trailblazers can obtain some wonderful buffs. For Ooh. example. For example, a cosmic big lotto that won't disappoint. Oh, wow. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> Following an ordinary Are plane buffing? challenge, trailblazers will enter Herda's manic plane with their buffs in tow. Every time trailblazers successfully challenge a wave of enemies, a floor is successfully cleared. As floors are cleared, trailblazers will face Boom. off against increasingly difficult Don Fang. Until... Uh-oh. I knew there was a catch. Now we have to fight attrition warfare? <sighs> Herder wants to test the limits of the simulated universe's memory. Don't panic, Ms. March. As long as trailblazers obtain as I'll many as they can in the ordinary plane challenges, they'll be able to face down the manic plane with full strength. Trust me, in the simulated universe, anything is possible. Really? I don't believe you. You must believe me! I promise, Trailblazers. It's a watch. I can't wait I'm for the simulated universe. Yeah, now I really w percent, don't w percent, you. W percent, 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 W W percent 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 W
Now with added technical features on PlayStation 5, we invite Ooh, and PS5 now. Worldwide to join us in this breathtaking space fantasy. I'm aboard the Asteroid Express on this October 11th. October 11th, ladies and gentlemen. And made this journey available on PS5. PlayStation 5. October Well, that's 11. it for today. Thanks for tuning in to our special program and see uh -huh. you in the... Uh, wait. Eh? Albert, who's the main presenter here? Shouldn't I be the one to bring the show to a close? Uh, my bad, my bad. Force a habit. One more code, case, one more code. Let's come on. Our main presenter would like to say to the audience? Uh, let me think. Uh... Oh yeah, uh, don't forget to like, follow, and share. Let's like, follow, and share. Yes, years. yes, correct, correct. It's 50 billion. You might want to huh? take a few zeros out there, March. <laughs> 50 anyway, billion. <laughs> then I pay him in a proper time, that's for sure. So whether or not your world has a day-night cycle, good morning, good afternoon, and get yourself home already. Albert, sign it off. Bye-bye. Wait, Albert. Oops. Uh, he really made a break for it. I'm alone with March 7 uh, now. Anyway, Sus. so... That's all for today's program. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I'm your host, March 7th. Wishing all you and I'm your host, day. Timothy Randy. See ya. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Bye bye. <sighs> Wait. Finally. Wait, not yet. I'm exhausted. Okay. Huh? Really? Oh, thank you, thank you. Actually, I was feeling super nervous. That was amazing, Marsh. Oh, no, no. You guys did all the hard work. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> no, you. Huh? You present, Is you present us. Already? Yes. Uh, I'll share it with my friend. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Hey. I'll post it. You see my stream just now? You said you'd be tuning in. <laughs> Link is already up, by the way. I just shared with you. Remember to watch the whole thing. Remember to watch I'll the whole thing. Checking. I'll be checking. Yep. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> That's so cute. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.